Hey everyone, how's it going? And welcome back to the Minecraft Survival Let's Play. Thank you again for all the amazing support everyone has been leaving on the series. I truly do appreciate it. So today we're going to continue to work on our village and we're still going to transform it the best we can because this is the Village Oasis. I've done a few things off screen. They haven't been very major. Today we're still going to work on it and we're also going to go ahead and try to tame some rabbits. Uh, that's going to be something I want to try. So we'll see how that works out. So if you guys haven't already, let's go ahead and see if we can reach 100 likes for today's episode. That would be absolutely fantastic. And just FYI, guys, if you do not know, I am on vacation currently. So the videos you will be seeing for the next coming week, uh, week or two will be pre-uploaded. So uh, sorry if I'm not going to be uploading on a daily basis. It was hard for me to try to get a lot of videos done. But hopefully, they will be just enough for you guys to enjoy the uh, few weeks of uploaded videos that are pre-uploaded pretty much while I'm on vacation. But enough about that. Let's go ahead and get started. So as you guys can see, we're missing one of our uh, set ups here for the tent that we had in the last episode because we are working on the market area so one thing i'm still going to be really considering a ways to improve the market area by actually adding probably farms some rabbits and things of that nature uh, because i have seen some rabbits around here and that does remind me i actually want to go ahead and grab some carrots because i'm pretty sure we have some carrots around here there we go perfect we have one i think yeah we have just enough carrots uh to go around and try to i guess try to tame a few rabbits if it would be possible uh uh, so we're going to go ahead and try this out for ourselves. But before we do that, I also want to show you guys something I've also done as well. So uh, a few things that have been updated from the last episode is kind of very, very minor. I've actually transformed this building. All I've done was actually just completely cut out the whole middle part. And it's pretty much uh, very simple. It's a way just to walk around because the building was in, in the way and there was no need for it to be there. So I figured this is quite cool and quite simple. We're also going to be working with a lot of glowstone today. We're going to make lanterns and I think it's gonna be absolutely fantastic so I did see a few rabbits over here I want to see if we could possibly tame them now if we cannot I'm going to try another time this for me is a quick little uh, uh, trial to see oh okay here we go hey there we go so would they follow me now if they follow me then oh man oh wait what there's little ones now okay wait let's see if they follow me oh yes come on come on buddy you know you want some carrots yeah, there we go. See, this guy's like our friend now. Look at that. All right, we're going to have to go and make him a small little room. So here you go. Oh, no, I, I'm sorry. I just dropped your carrots. No, come back. Come back. There we go. Hey, all righty. Uh, no, you're going to wander off. No carrots for anyone here. All right, there's a lot of rabbits here. Okay, for now, what we're going to do is we are going to make the farm back here because it's probably the easiest way to go and put them inside here and then eventually move them off. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to just put them all in here. Let's go ahead and I'll get them, and then they'll just wander off in here, and hopefully we'll be pretty good. So let's hope they join us inside here. And we have some gates that we are going to just plop in. All right, we have one rabbit who's walking in here. Let's go see if we can get that other rabbit just to hop on in. We just need two rabbits in here. Come on, buddy. Come on, don't be afraid. No, you're so close. Come on. Hey. <laughs> he's like, he's like, he's taunting us. There we go. Okay. And boom. No. How did he jump out? Oh my gosh. All right. Here we go. All right. Stay. Do they jump? Can they jump out? That would be insane. All right. We have one rabbit and he's going crazy right now. All right. These wild rabbits aren't really too easy to tame. All right. We tried our best. We're going to leave one rabbit in here for now. Let's go see. Hey, maybe this rabbit wants to join us. Okay. Come on now. Let's go in. Let's go in here. Let's hope this rabbit comes in here. If it does, the job is done, and we are all set to go and continue our work. Oh, oh, he's doing the same thing the other rabbit did. All right, come inside. Come inside. There we go. You know, there we go. Okay, perfect. Go out here. Close it. Haha, <laughs> there we go. So we have ourselves a few rabbits, and that is just perfect. And now we have, I think we're going to have a little rabbit too. Let's go ahead. Let's see. And perfect. So we have three rabbits now. Um, yeah, there we go. Awesome. So our rabbit farm is developing. It's really not a bad idea to have the farm right over here. So that's something we can possibly go ahead and work on in the future and build a pathway and things of that nature. So what I want to do is the first thing that came to mind was to actually start working on the interior of this building because it is very, very ugly. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to start taking out all the sand from down here. And I think we're just going to fill it in with maybe sandstone or we're going to go ahead and just use, I guess, maybe some uh some wood which would be kind of nice because it adds a bit more uh color like i said but sandstone isn't too bad to go ahead and work with but the first thing i do need is actually i gotta go ahead and grab some glowstone we definitely need some more light around here 
There we go. So we have some glowstone. I'm going to take that with us. I also want to work on this place as well. This is going to be a restaurant. We're going to make this into a small little uh, restaurant because it has the look for it and it's fantastic. So that is something we're also going to do in today's episode. And we're going to try to do a lot of things and hopefully we don't get too caught up and it works out for the best. So let's go ahead and put some glowstone around here just so we can light this place up so you guys can kind of get a feel for what this place is going to look like. Now, I don't really necessarily know what exactly the purpose of this bottom area is going to be, but what I do know is that it will have some purpose of storage. I think storage would probably be the best bet for this, um, and I think that's just the way we should go. So, with that being said, we're probably going to put a little chest over there, um, some shelves and things of that nature. Let's go get in some smooth... Yeah, let's get some, actually, no, we have smooth sandstone. Let's go ahead and put some smooth sandstone over there. And uh, I think we're going to keep the floor sandstone instead of, uh, oh my gosh, look at all the uh, <laughs> all the villagers already joining in. They're like, okay, this place is getting renovated. There's some light down here. Nice. All right. So, so far, pretty basic. I think it's a good idea to keep the flooring the same as everything else pretty much because uh if that's the case then it'll just keep our lives a little bit easier but uh we're gonna go ahead and definitely work with jungle wood as well actually i want to try to use oak i'm gonna use oak for the interior of the building let's go ahead and see now if i do that oh that's not not that's not good we're gonna have to close that back up um now obviously the stairs are right over here so we have to work out a design so this doesn't look really too ugly so i think that's okay we'll probably put some oak here um, just put some support like this. That would be kind of interesting to see this. It doesn't look half bad either. Um, and we'll just actually connect it all the way to the top. How about that? That looks actually quite decent. Now, I'm thinking if I could connect these to the top, how the heck would that look? Uh, that's not even. Let's take that down. What do you villagers think? <laughs> the villagers are, like, debating about this. I'm not sure if I'm liking it, but... This I like. This I do like a lot. So we're going to take down this glowstone. We're going to go ahead and we're going to use our fences here. And we are going to make a small little design that kind of just goes between like that. And I don't really mind that. I think it's quite nice. We could just fill it all the way in. And you know what? It's kind of simple. It does the job, I think, quite well. Um, and as you go up, it's pretty simple. So I like it. I'm not I'm not upset about it. I think it's a nice little design to have. Um, and it definitely adds a little bit of color. Also, it is a little bit small, this room. But that's kind of the purpose. It's just going to be a small little storage room. And I think we left the chests as well. We have to go ahead and grab some extra chests so we can store things. But again, I'm going to be taking advice from what all of you guys have to say as well for what little things we should be adding to the rooms. So what their theme should should be because we're still looking for a few ideas definitely to go ahead and improve um so let's go ahead and do this so i think on this side we can add some chests uh, let's go ahead and grab some chests as well here we go and i kind of want to make it a small little room with plenty of storage to go around um i'm thinking maybe even like a desk over here i have no idea yet but let's go ahead and actually add maybe um trying to think what's a oh i have a great idea so let's go ahead and get the let's get the uh slabs let's put a, a row of slabs around here like this okay that's good and then what we can do is on top of here we can have our chests so the chest would be placed just perfectly even as so and then over here we could probably oh is it turning night i think it's turning night okay let's go ahead and get some rest quickly because i don't want any zombies coming out here and uh hurting our villagers because they're all gonna turn to zombies so we got to make sure i've seen a lot of them actually um in the past when i was doing let's plays i've never really kind of protected my villages so this is something i learned to go ahead and try to do which is make sure my villagers are safe and sound from any zombies and especially we're gonna have to make a wall um, and keep them safe from anything as well so that's not that's gonna be something we're gonna eventually going to have to develop but look at this this is oh, what are you doing up there villager all right so I want to add something I think the corner here could be a uh, removed I think that could be removed and we could probably add something in its place over here now I'm thinking possibly we could probably put maybe some uh I guess we can even do this we can actually put ourselves a I don't think we have a staircase but we could probably put a trap door so we'll put a trap door like this close it in add a little bit of detail to it you know make it look a little bit interesting and then what we probably could do is we could add a item frame and we could put the item frame probably right up here here we go just add a few frames I kind of want to add random frames around here personally I think it would look kind of cool it adds a bit of detail and inside we're just gonna have like beets or some type of fruits or anything really that's kind of around here that we can use to, to decorate this place up a bit more uh, we could probably pull let's go ahead and put maybe um, water water would be kind of important as well to have around here 
Uh, and we can just put some more fruits. Let's put some watermelon. Let's put like one watermelon up there. Kind of keep it like a food store. This could be like a small little food store. Uh, you can just come in here and get your food. That's actually quite good. The villagers seem interested. So uh, that's actually a good sign as well. And we probably could put maybe item frames on top of this. No, let's take them down. We don't really need that. Uh, we can also go ahead and probably add maybe even another. Oh, I don't think we should. But we could add a slab over there. And we can probably put... I don't think I have a clay, anything for clay yet for like a pot or anything that we could put up there. But for now, I'm trying to think what is something we could probably place. And I have no idea because I don't have any clay. So we're going to leave that for now. But up here, I'd like to put like a flower pot or something. Um, that would be something that would be kind of cool. We can even put a chest maybe. Um, I know obviously that item frame just went and disappeared. Oh, wait, it's still there. Oh, I didn't know that was actually possible. Okay, cool. Um, all right, you know what? Kind of simple. I'm thinking maybe we should put something that kind of supports it in the back. Let's put ourselves a little fence back there. Fence post. There we go. Kind of cool. A little bit different. Something different, and I kind of like it. So over here is kind of barren as well. I'm thinking of taking down these walls. Now, I have no idea what's above here. So it looks like we have the actual pathway so we're gonna fill it in with sandstone up there and everything else from the bottom is going to be removed and we're gonna try to put in here a different type of wall so that it's not just all sand all around here and i think that's one of the main things that's probably what we should have done in the beginning was to have a decent looking kind of wall around here instead of having it all uh sand so at least this wall here can be transformed into maybe uh we could use jungle wood or some type of layers so we could do a bit of jungle wood um let's go see how that would look actually so we can even why are all the villagers like so eager to go ahead and and go on top of this get off villager <laughs> i'm trying to build it i'm trying to work oh my gosh okay oh i have a great idea let's go ahead and remove the bottom layer as well man we have a lot of sand around here hopefully we didn't mess this up i think there's a little spot over here okay so this one has to be fixed right away before any more villagers fall down here and now what I want to do is back here, I want to add, I'm thinking of just putting like jungle wood. Jungle wood would be kind of cool. This would be kind of interesting, a different design so that up here we can have some type of storage that we can use. So let's go ahead and use the remainder of the jungle wood. Now this villager, really villager, you're going to have to do this to me. Okay, jump off, jump off. That's not your spot anymore. <laughs> so let's go ahead and put back some glowstone now i think it's a, a nice idea to probably design the way we want to hang the glowstone so i think we're going to use let's go ahead and try to use uh the fences and work with the glowstone a bit and probably have it hanging possibly i don't even know if we could maybe work that out um i mean what we could do is we could add the glowstone in the corners and then we could use trap doors to design it so let's see how this takes uh, a little bit of a look to it let's see oh i like that that's actually really nice that's really, really nice. Okay, great. So that's done. I'm also thinking of changing these two blocks to something else as well so that it's not all jungle wood. And let's go ahead and see how that would look if we just use probably jungle wood itself. Not oak. I mean jungle wood. Um, let's go see. Actually, do I have anything else that we could probably use? J leaves would be kind of interesting. But then again, support for that wouldn't really be too good. Uh, we could do fences. But you know what? Let's go work with whatever jungle wood we have. I think that would look nice. Man, this villager really likes to get in the way. But there we go. I quite like this. I'm really happy with this design. We definitely are going to fill in something here. What we could do is over here, we can fill in a spot for uh, maybe some water. We could put like one of these to hold some water. That would be kind of interesting. There we go. And we could probably put maybe a few other things instead of having... I don't know. Let's see. Um... You know what, that, that's fine for now. We could probably add some furnaces. I don't have any furnaces on me right now. We'll definitely grab some uh, a little bit back. But for now, this looks fine for me. A little bit of a design, which I'm quite happy with. I would like to go and add some jungle leaves in here too. Uh, so let's go ahead and see if we use maybe this for the corner and add jungle leaves on top. That would be kind of nice. I kind of like that. That's really nice. And let's see how it looks if we have the trap doors kind of surrounding it. That would be kind of interesting to test this out. Let's go ahead and see how that looks. Oh, that looks really great. So far, I'm pretty happy with the progress. We'll probably put it two levels high. But yeah, guys, it's taken shape. I'm pretty happy. Definitely, I think I kind of changed my mind about the jungle wood here. I think we should replace it. And we could probably just go, instead of jungle wood, we could maybe just use a sandstone. Uh, sandstone would be kind of nice like this too, just to fill it in. Yeah, I think that looks better. I'm pretty happy with the sandstone replacing it. And it does add light to the room, which is great. 
And other than that, I'm trying to think if there's anything else we should probably add. For now, I think this is great for, for temporary use. We're still going to go ahead and develop it more. But uh, because we're still trying to do a few th other things in the episode, I think this is a great little design for this room at the current moment. So last but not least, we're going to go ahead and we're going to work on the little restaurant. So we're going to try to start developing it. Obviously, we're getting close to the end of today's episode. But if we do not finish it by today's episode, we will work on it more in the next episode. So as you guys can see, we already have tables here. We have slabs. Um, we're going to go ahead and actually place a chest right away so that we can just store some items just for the temporary use for now just to store some things so we can pick all of this up and it's not just going to be sitting around um, and causing a mess so this is going to be a small restaurant i think i want to make it some area that you just can come in there's a few seats and it's just pretty much very simple so we're going to continue to use those pressure plates and we're actually going to craft a few more let's go ahead and craft at least maybe let's go with three more that would be decent. And let's go ahead and make the tables. Now, I'm just curious to see how this would look for, like, if, if this would ever be a thing I could try in the future. Now, I don't know if I can actually put, uh, no, I can't put a pressure plate on that. But what I could do is I could put a slab. So, I think I have some extra slabs left over. This is obviously just a quick trial, but no, I don't like that. That's not going to be the design. We're going to stick with something very simple. Um, and I think for now, we're just going to have... Oh, I forgot. That one over there has a patio as well. So that could be something we could change into a restaurant instead of this one. But this one has a rooftop as well. So it could be something different. I don't know. But for now, this will be a small little restaurant section. Let's go ahead and add some tables around here. I think what we could do is kind of replicate a very similar design as the last one. Uh, let's go ahead and add our, our uh, pressure plates on the top. I want to use different chairs, though. I think what we're going to do is we're going to use... We're going to have to actually go ahead and craft ourselves something else. Do we have anything? All right, let's go ahead and make ourselves some... Oh, I don't even have a, a crafting bench. The crafting bench is in here. Let's go ahead and grab that. Put it over here for now. And let's go ahead and craft ourselves some basic, uh, uh, I guess chairs um roofs i guess what you want to call them stairs um there we go that's pretty simple for now we'll use some of this and we'll go ahead and place it down kind of in front let's go ahead and see how that looks and then what we could do is also on this side here we go and what we could do is also add maybe the leftover trap doors see if this will look anything decent actually i'm curious can you actually put them on the side over here Ooh, that looks kind of interesting too so we can't we, we can't do that one. That's going to mess it all up. So I'm going to take this one down and we're going to leave. I guess we're going to just leave the uh, trap doors on the little chairs over here. And I think that would look kind of cool. Now, the only issue is I can't really replicate it on this side either because they're too close. So maybe the best thing to do is just make signs. I guess we could just make a few signs. That's probably the best way to go about this for now. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. And there we go. We have ourselves 12 signs. We're just going to place some. This is like the old old fashioned way. Everyone really does this design. Now, I'm thinking I might change the uh, the chairs as well. Maybe try to do something different, a different block. Uh, oh, I still can't do the stairs on this side. All right, that's going to be a sm slight issue. For now, I'm just going to leave it like this. Leave those how it is pro possibly. Actually, why don't we do this? For this area, we can make it kind of like a, a different type of vibe so that, yeah, you know what? That looks quite cool. A little bit different we can even add a small little table here let's go ahead and do that here so we can add a small table right here it is quite tight this area but that's kind of the whole idea i want to make it a little bit really compact and i think that looks quite cool yeah i really like this so far i'm pretty pleased with this design so let's go ahead i think it's not it's not turning night yet we still have some time to work on this a little bit more so what i want to do is kind of make a little entrance area so i kind of replicated this um, similar to what we did with the, uh, I guess, dog adoption center, if you guys can remember. I made like a little table section or like a, a area that you can just come in and register like a desk. So that's where we're going to do the same thing here. Let's go ahead and get some rest as well. It is turning night. Uh, let's eat up as well. There we go. And man, today's been a great episode so far. <laughs> I don't know why I just randomly placed that that sign over there. And what should we call this actual village? We should have names for every single like town that we develop. So this one, I have no idea where we can name it, but we'll have something in mind. Let me know in the comment sections. And when I get back from vacation, I'll be able to definitely check it out. Wow, we already have customers in here. Great. So uh, this villager is going to be slightly in the way. So let's go and, and push him out. There we go. Can you go out? There we go. Perfect. So what I want to do is we're going to need the stairs. 
we have two. I think uh, one is enough. I don't think we need more. One is definitely, I feel, more than enough. And on the top, I believe, is we used a slab or was it a... I think it was a slab. So let's go ahead and add our slab on the top. There, I think it was a slab. No, no, no. I think it was actually a trap door because I remember it wasn't too tall. So let's go ahead and add the trap door. Yeah, that's what it was. So it's like a little re a register area that you just come back here, make your order, and it's just pretty simple. If I, if I can remember, I feel like this is how it looked. I could be mistaken. It could be a little bit different. But for now, I guess it's fine. And we'll probably do this. Um... Let me actually fix that. It's the other way around. It's on the top. Oh, wait a minute. No, that's fine. That's fine. That's how it's supposed to be. Yeah, no, that's that's exactly how I remember it looking. And we just need to add ourselves some frames. So maybe that's too big to have just two levels. Oh, so we'll just close it in. Let's do this. Let's go on this side. We'll add the leftover trap door. Oh, no, I just messed that up. Here we go. So it's like a little section like that, maybe. No, let's take that down. And over here, we can add maybe some food. Now, I don't have anything besides watermelon. So we'll just have a watermelon over there. Keep it quite simple. And on the top, we could probably add a few things. We can definitely add some frames uh, in between here as well. So I think we're going to figure out a little design. But I also want to add some lighting. So that's what we're going to do with the glowstone. We have to figure out a nice little soothing design to keep this looking quite nice as well. I think the flooring, we might change it. But for now, I think it's quite awesome. I think we can even put them in the corner. That would be quite nice. I mean, it's it's not it's kind of big. But for now, I think it would be okay. Uh, maybe even up top. Actually, let's let's try that. Let's go ahead and try to put it straight up in the middle maybe little section here in the middle so I'll try to keep it even so it would be something like this um, now we're gonna have to decorate it slight bit so it doesn't look so odd how it is right now so let's go ahead and do this let's go ahead and do the same thing on this side and I think we could even do the bottom there we go so it's like a small little design uh, just hanging from the top. I think that's okay. Not too bad. I also want to add maybe uh, some flowers as well. So we'll kind of give this place a little bit more color. So maybe in the entrance to kind of keep everyone uh, from not like looking inside. You know, as you walk in, you have a little view here. I think that's really nice. Perfect. So we can even put it to the top. No, too much. That's better. So we can do that. That looks quite nice. So you walk in, you make your order, you go, you sit down. Uh, now, obviously, the whole purpose of a, a, a restaurant is to have a kitchen as well. And uh, as you can see, there really isn't space for one. So I'm thinking we might have to do something uh, and open this up a bit and expand it in the next episode. But so far, I am pleased with the turnout so far, how we designed this. I'm pretty happy. We'll definitely go ahead and continue to develop this. We can even put, actually, let's go ahead and put some leaves on the top. I think that would look kind of cool. Yeah, that looks really, really cool. Um, adds a little bit of color to this place, makes it look a little bit lively, and I like it. So far, so good. We'll probably add some more watermelon there. Um, and I don't know, there's really nothing else I can add that would add something different to this place. So for now, this is just perfect. I'm really happy. This stuff in the front will be changed. Of course, the outside will be changed as well. But it looks really, really nice from the inside. So I'm quite pleased. Today was a longer episode. We've done a few extra things. But man, this is a great little restaurant. I'm pretty, quite happy with it. I'm thinking back here. We're just going to go expand it, and uh, I'm thinking maybe over here we'll just expand it and open it up a little bit more to have a kitchen, and it'll be like a little bit of an L-shaped building. But that so far, that's just perfect. <laughs> Look at this villager. He's like, I'm not going to help you get up. I can't really help you that much. Uh, that's kind of funny. All right, guys. So if you guys enjoyed today's episode, make sure you go ahead and hit that like button. We did a lot of things, a lot of decorating, so I was really happy to get a lot of progress done. If you guys are new as well, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that little bell next to it as well so you're notified anytime I upload. Without further ado... This is the end of the episode. So like I said, let me know any feedback down below in the comment sections. That's pretty much it. Stay tuned for another survival let's play. My name is Alex and peace out and stay foxy.